Hey guys, welcome to Draw with Sandy at the Little Artistic Nook. Today we'll be drawing this cute little baguette. To begin, come to the center of your page and draw out a simple little smile by making a shallow U shape. To create the open mouth, I'm going to draw out a U shape that's coming out from just about center of the mouth and connecting to the right corner. Add a little tongue and then shade in the rest of the mouth. Now we can start to draw in the eyes, starting with a large oval, where the bottom of the eye comes just a little bit lower than the top of the mouth. Draw a small curved line across the bottom of the eye, and then a large heart near the top. And then let's just put a small dot underneath that heart, and go ahead and color in around these three highlights. Add in the eyelid, just trace over the top of your eye and extend a line slightly out to the side. I'm going to have my baguette winking, so for the second eye, I'm just going to draw a sideways V so that the bottom of the V is in line with the corner of the mouth. Now we can go ahead and add just a small eyebrow above the open eye. For our first cheek, we're going to draw a full oval underneath the winking eye. Then underneath the second eye, we'll do the same thing, but we'll start the oval so that it's touching the outside edges of the eye. For a fun little detail, I'm going to add a bow tie. So come just underneath the mouth and draw out a slightly rounded square. Then we'll create the two sides of the bow by starting near the top of the square and drawing a curved line towards the cheek, coming down towards the bottom and center of your page to create something like a heart shape that's facing sideways. Do the same thing on the other side of this little square, and then you'll have just a little tiny bow tie. You can give the bow tie some shape by adding a little loop, just coming off the edge of the little square, maybe a little line, and doing the same thing on the other side. To draw out our baguette's body, we're gonna start a lot higher than the top of his face. And I'm going to start on the left side, just placing my pen not too far out from the cheek and starting to draw a very slightly curved line towards the bottom of my page. If your paper is a lot longer than mine, you can make your baguette super tall. Then start to curve the line over to draw towards the right side of your page and then draw a second vertical line, once again coming from the top or if you feel comfortable, you can draw from the bottom up. I've left the top open so I have space for my hat since I'm using marker, but close it off if you're using pencil. To draw the hat, I'm going to curve in towards the face and then back out towards the top of my page. Then coming around the top, I'm going to curve in the opposite direction so that I'm creating something like a circle, and then coming narrower towards the right side to finish off the other side of the hat. You can add in a little detail, like a little tie at the top of the hat, and there you go, his little beret. To add in some texture, I'm just going to draw some really loose rectangular shapes in the body. So I'm gonna start by just drawing some disconnected lines, and these are like rectangles in the fact that they have two short ends and two long ends. But they don't need to be perfect, and I'm going to do three of them. So one near the top, the second one is gonna go somewhat behind the face. So anywhere where your face is in the way, you can just pretend that the line is there. And then we'll do one more all across the bottom. So as I've moved down the length of my baguette, because the bottom of my baguette is wider, these rectangles have gotten a little bit bigger. Then we can go and give our baguette some happy little arms. So for the arms, I'm just gonna draw two lines that are pointing up towards the corners of my page, and they're starting about in line with the cheek. And I'm just topping them with little circles for hands. For the feet, I'm just going to draw two lines straight down about center of the body, and then add little circles on the end. Now I'm going to draw in the setting by just drawing a ground line that's coming from the left to the right side of my page and just a little bit higher than the bottom of the feet. So make sure you draw in that line right between the feet so that it doesn't look like it's disappeared. Next I'm going to draw a stalk of wheat starting with a curved line coming towards the ground. I'm going to top it with a little loop 
And then coming just above the bottom of that stem, I'm going to draw loops on each side so that they look like a heart. And then I'm going to just keep drawing these loops, one on each side, all the way up the stalk. Don't worry if the heart shape starts to go away, we're just trying to give ourselves a pattern to work with. Then go ahead and draw in some little lines in between each loop to create those nice little wispy bits. Then I'm going to add just a few more stalks of wheat, drawing one here just floating in the air and it'll be upside down so I'll put my loop at the bottom and then this time just coming a little bit from the top start to draw in these upside down heart shapes all the way down towards that loop. And when I get there, I'll eventually add in those little lines in between each petal. So when I was planning out this little bakery series, I absolutely knew I needed a baguette because I just loved them. One of my fondest memories of visiting Paris when I was younger was eating fresh baguettes and strawberry jam every day for breakfast. Okay, so I'm gonna make a third little stalk of wheat over here on the left. I'm creating a nice curvy stem this time and I'm just going to keep on following that same pattern drawing out each little individual blade of wheat or petal. I'm not actually sure what these are called but I'm just going to keep drawing them all the way up the stalk just following the curve of my stem and then just adding those fine little lines in between each one. I find that it just gives this little blade of wheat a little bit of movement and a little bit of lightness, just like you would see in a picture of a wheat field. And let's just do one more stalk of wheat, maybe coming away from our baguette this time, as if he's throwing it, and we'll add the little loop out here towards the left. Then go ahead and come back towards the bottom of your stem and start to draw out those heart-shaped blades all the way up towards the top. And you can draw in the little lines coming all the way back down towards the bottom and then that will be the completion of this little illustration and there's your super cute baguette guys thank you so much for drawing with me today if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so until next time for another draw with sandy at the little artistic nook keep making art and keep smiling